Hi, this is PR Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report, sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange. Nifty opened flat, but Bank Nifty came under severe selling pressure immediately. Bank Nifty has fallen more than 250 points at some point of time. That was very clear, mainly because FIAs were net sellers for six continuous trading sessions. And on top of which, the global markets were not positive. And yesterday, US markets fell so drastically. Yesterday, after market hours, when Microsoft came out with better results, the US futures recovered. But most of the Asian markets were down. But what happened suddenly, the bank nifty started recovering. HDFC bank was down for the last two days. Today, that started turning to green from red. So that was an indication that things are turning around for Bank Nifty. That was very, very surprising. The Bank Nifty shot up more than 400 points from intraday low to intraday high. And why this sudden reversal? Very, very surprising. Because the First Republic Bank in US fell 50% yesterday and fell another 20% at today during pre-market. So this has actually dented the sentiment in all the banks in the world. I think European banks are down about 2% right now. And even US also, the bank index was down more than 2%. All over the world, banks are bleeding, but do not know what happened here. Our banking stocks have turned around. It hit uh, the high of this month. Just remember, uh, in the month of March, Bank Nifty low, if I'm not wrong, it was around 38,500. And now it is close to 43,000. So this is a rally of nearly 4,500 points from March low to uh, April high. Reliance was uh, trying to recover like yesterday, but in the last, the second part, uh, that also came under selling pressure. So probably uh, people are managing the index by selling other stocks while banking stocks were higher. And Bajaj Auto fell because of not so good results. Uh, that sentiment has dragged Bajaj Finance also. So Bajaj Finance also fell ahead of the results. And the auto stock seems to be doing well, like Maruti has come out with the results, but again, I think that is missing the estimates. So the overall, the corporate results is going to be a mix back from now. Coming back to important things. Number one, Nifty closed above 17,800. And if I'm not wrong, this is the highest closing in this month. So Nifty closing above a resistance level. That's number one. Number two, this is happening despite negative global queues. And number three, FIAs who have been selling for the last six consecutive trading sessions suddenly have become net buyers not for a small amount, for a big amount, and they have bought for 1,257 crores. However, the domestic institutions have sold for 227 crores. These three things look very, very positive. Nifty was volatile, but it was range bound. But Bank Nifty is the one which made a very big move. US markets are trying to recover from their steep losses. And yesterday in the post-market report, I told you, I'm not going to look at uh, US markets. Anyway, I was flying from uh, Chennai to Dubai, so there is no way I can look at the US markets. So unless I get a Wi-Fi connection in the flight. After the market hours, the results from Google and Microsoft. So that would decide the market. The same way, today also I will not like to look at the US markets because tomorrow, that is today after the market hours, Meta platform will come out with results. So that result will De uh, decide the futures tomorrow morning. So accordingly, SGX Nifty will be uh, reacting tomorrow morning. There is no reason to keep looking at SGX Nifty now and the US markets now. And usually Meta platform is a very, very uh, hugely volatile stock. It moves 20%, 25% either side, downside or upside after the results. So we will see tomorrow what happens to Meta platform. And uh, other than that, looking at the open interest, you know, the so people are selling 17,800 put options, 17,700 put option. So overall, in this April series, uh, Nifty is up more than 1,000 points from March low 
and in the series to series is roughly about 800 point up so that is really very very good but in us there is a proverb sell everything in may and go away so usually april is a strong month and may is a, a weaker month in fact many times black swan events came in the month of may uh, so let us see uh, what happens in the month of may and i think tomorrow it's going to be a normal day uh, there may be volatility uh, expiry day related volatility but uh, nifty is likely to close somewhere between 17700 and 17900 so anyway we will discuss all those things tomorrow morning hope you enjoyed listening to this audio from tomorrow we will release the video thank you for watching